I go down the market on each side from 6th Street to 5th Street, business after business after business. The high point, and I think th the blood source for the people at the market was the Flower Market Cafe. And they were open like 4 in the morning, and they had a constant stream of people. And Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, the same people would be there. Uh, when it got to be close to nine o'clock, it would change to some of the the wholesalers and the growers, and had a very heavy local business individuals as part of their clientele. The repetitiveness of g growers and retailers made it easy for the waitress when somebody hit the front door and they stepped through the door and they were spotted by the waitresses, their order would have already been placed in the kitchen because some people never ever changed what they wanted to eat. And June was, um, well she was called the pistol. I don't know if she would have called that to her face, but she was a waitress there and really on top of everything. She knew everybody by their first name and in many cases the last name, what they wanted to eat. And in later years, she gave up the waitress business to marry a greens wholesaler in the Japanese market. And they specialized at the right time of year in lilac and they would have a section of 20 by 20 that was full of cut lilac, one of my favorite flowers. Anyway, back to the market. Um, we were talking about the Italian market and the Japanese market, and you said that's a story that I'll get back to later, and I was oh, wondering if you yes. recall it. And this is a very high point which simply amplifies the, I'm going to use camaraderie, and it's really friendship between the sellers and the wholesalers at the market. Uh, World War II uh, came around and as we know, the uh, president uh, ordered the mm, collection of, when we drew all the Japanese and put them into a um, internment camps throughout the country. Uh, as it happened, uh, Bill Sr. had a friend who had uh, greenhouses, and this translates to the word nursery, Japanese, and Bill offered to care for these facilities while that family was gone. And many families never got anything back I mean, th this is a, a tragedy because uh, I you know, on the Japanese aspect, some of the generations as citizens went back too. And so this was just really, a, in my personal opinion, a slap in the face because I consider them generally to be some of the most gracious people on this earth. Go ahead, any more thoughts? And he returned it to them after the war, mm -hmm. and that needs to be part of that too. Go ahead. I'm still alive. <laughs> I, had, I had a question. Um, you talked about how it takes a special person to be a florist or to work with flowers, and I was wondering what those qualities are. Well, um, talent, of course, is the the first priority, uh, the ability to work insane hours for most of your life. Uh, this was not the case if you had a shop that was out of town because you may have had your flowers shipped to you or you only went to market one day a week. The rest of the day you could stay in bed till seven, get up and open your shop at nine. But on market mornings that wouldn't, wouldn't happen. Um, I 
think, uh, of course, a love for all things beautiful. And uh, I have a lot of peculiar tastes. But to me, they're beautiful. And I don't care what the rest of the world thinks. I mean, it's, it's just the way it is. And personality. But talent, I think, is, is the greatest. This love, personality, and talent. 